Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV7. You're watching a program called Conversations with Fred. I bring in people from the community that can share information about this wonderful community we live in. I have a good person today, County Commissioner Phil Dumino. Phil, thank you for coming to the show. My, Fred, my pleasure. Now, before we talk County Commissioner stuff, uh -huh. I bet a lot of you don't know, I had the pleasure... Phil, you played Santa Claus, and I was Santa's helper yep. at the Goodwill Fire Department. You yep. did a great job. For years we've been doing that. And the yep. last time I saw you, you were pedaling a bike on the Kent Island <laughs> Trail. Now yep. look it. You look like the Olympic chair. <laughs> were, you, were, were you on a so, challenge or something? So, so I hope I wasn't passing the uh, the speed limit of 15 no, no, miles per hour. No, we were moving good we, speeds. We were moving pretty yeah. good. Um, so, yeah, I, I think one of the things that came out of this this whole COVID thing is mm -hmm. is um, I think people, you know, got outdoors as much as they could. And so I, I bought a bike and I took up biking and then, and then it was it just absolutely fell in love with riding our trails. And I have to tell you, we've got great trails, Island, as you know, trail. Fred. Is that a oh. gift? Um, you know, hopefully one day we can get that connectivity from the, from Terrapin Park, you know, to the South uh, Bike uh, Trail. But um, I absolutely fell in love with it. And, and you were, but, but I'll tell you what. In my opinion, you were really moving. Well, Bill and, said you were on some type of challenge. Yep, we were on a mission. We were on a mission. What I did is I signed up and pledged to raise um, five hundred dollars okay. and bike three hundred miles in the month of September to raise uh, awareness and uh, funding for childhood cancer. Terrific! Great. So um, I launched off on this thing, and I'm calculating how many miles I have to do Every in the day, month. Whatever. And, yeah, yeah. and and well, we I ended up riding uh, three hundred and fifty miles. Good for you guys. And raised over a thousand dollars. So congratulations um, for so a great cause. For a great cause, and and just really found out how much I loved riding. What a great fitness thing. Right? Yeah. You and yeah. you and the football co former yep. Ravens football coach setting world's records. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Bellick. Yep. Uh huh. And Brian. And apparently, he was a great bike rider. I, I understand. I, yeah. I yeah. didn't have the. Now, Phil, another part of you, I bet the audience doesn't know, and we got plenty of time to talk uh, all the good things going on with the commissioners. Uh, you're a real good baseball umpire, and you told me a story uh, last time we talked that you were at Oriole Stadium. Sure. Um, so, that? so I was actually um, selected to umpire, uh, be part of a six-man crew, mm -hmm. similar to what you see in the World Series. Uh, you have a first base umpire, second, third, home plate, and then you have the fielder, lines, yeah. and then you have the foul lines in right and left. So, I was uh, selected to to umpire for the Maryland State. Uh, high school all-star game. game. That's a big game. Well, yeah, Brooks Robinson um, um, puts this this event on every year. Um, he because of some health issues that he's challenged with, he videotaped something that appeared pre-game on the on the big Trinitron there at uh, Camden Yards. But yeah, it was um, the North versus the South. Um, all seniors. Uh, He's all like, excellent all star baseball players. Ball or go into minor league yep, ball a lot or... of them had already committed. Um, the, there's a young boy that um, has was signed uh, first round by the San Diego Padres. First it's round. A, yep, first round that was a, a pitcher at Severna Park. All right. So um, there's a lot of great talent here. Um, but yes, I took up umpiring. Where were you? Did you do a base or were you behind the plate? Uh, I was uh, down the left field, the uh, right field line. line. Oh, I was right. Okay. I was down the right field line, right behind the first base umpire. Um, you know, you go to Camden Yards and watch Oriole baseball for years and years, and you and you never even imagine that you'd have the and opportunity you get to do that. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, if the season umpiring season ended for me with the games that I have scheduled to the end of this month, I'll do ninety-one games. Ninety-one games in just about three months. And you so I enjoy it. high school and college. High school, you... high school, um, men's league. So we have twenty-two okay. and older men's league, thirty-five and older men's league. That's good baseball. And I did a forty-five and older men's league game last night. Good baseball. Okay. Um, yeah, but we do high school, and then, of course, use travel. You've got a lot of your travel uh, teams. You're 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 you. And you enjoy it, right? Oh, yeah. And you're good It's at great. It. I love the game of baseball. I played as a kid growing up. I played in junior college. Uh, I coached my two boys in baseball, and then when I could no longer coach them, um, I became an umpire. And, and so if you love the game... I, I'll tell you right what, there. it's, it's a lot like of fun. Playing, right? it's, it's a lot like of fun. Playing. So when you're not playing Santa Claus, mm -hmm. when you're not setting uh, Ken Island track records with bike, <laughs> and you're not umpiring, you're a county commissioner. Yes. Now, I've had Jim Moran and Stevie Wilson on. 
I think it's important that the community talk about all the good things that the county commissioners are doing to make us a, a sure. community. What, what do you got on your plate? So, um, well, I think the wonderful thing about this set of commissioners, Fred, is that that we all bring something to the table. Something different than right. Me. Exactly. Um, I think Jack uh, Wilson does a wonderful job. He's and, next week, by the way. Is okay. he good? Um, he, then get him to talk about broadband and connectivity in the northern part of the county. And, and maybe address some of the issues with Kerwin. And mm -hmm. you being a former educator yes, yourself. It's important. Can understand the necessities of funding education. And so he really spearheads that you okay. know those topics okay. and sure. and um and then jim of course you know th that bridge is his baby and and he's really committed a lot of time um to keeping us and the citizens of Queens county the show we talked about the bridge yeah. Yep. yeah yeah um so i think the five commissioners everybody kind so of it's brings blend, it's blending well yeah um our chris corcorino it's his first go around as a commissioner um, he's the, the one we call the rookie, um, but, <laughs> he's well, I tell you what, one, right? he's but he one. stepped right up his Good. first year and he's taken charge. In fact, he's currently our commission president. Good. He's an attorney. Um, so he's very, a bright young man, right? Yes, 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 yes. So, I, you know, without patting us too much on the shoulder, the, the, the citizens of Queen Anne's County have a, have a, a, a good set of commissioners that, that all think alike and, and really put the priorities, um, and what's best for the county first above anything. Oh, I, I think what made the people applaud, I could hear them from here, when <laughs> someone announced we're financially as sound as a rock oh. can be, and yep. th they didn't foresee any tax increases, mm -hmm. and we're a strong, vibrant community. Yes, yes. Stevie, uh, Stevie Wilson really is our kind of our numbers guru guy. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give him a lot of credit when it comes to... Um, most people don't know that Queen Anne's County has a AAA bond rating. High as you can get, right? Yes, High as the you best get. you can get. So when you go to the bond market to borrow money for important projects in your county, you're getting the money for almost free. Okay. Um, and Stevie Wilson worked hard with a lot of the, the collaborative effort of the part All of the commissioners five of you working together and making staff. good decisions. And and but Stevie guides us in that direction. Um, he keeps close tabs on the finances of the county and where we are. Um, and, and I tell you what, if, if the county dropped into an unfortunate recession, you know, three, four years, we could easily make payroll. We're safe. We're safe. And we're safe. Good. And, that, and nobody would have to be laid off. A lot of people have just, yep. oh, thank goodness. And right. when, you can, when you can have that kind of, of, of security um, and, um, and still produce a product, a great product that we produce, um, and, and do it at the third lowest, fourth lowest property tax rate in the state of Maryland. You're doing something right. Yeah. It's working. It's a yep. comfortable place to live. Yep. Phil, do you have any pet projects? I always ask to all the commissioners, take a couple minutes to think. Are there any things you'd like to see? Hey, these, this is what I'd really like to see happen in this county. Do you have any pet projects? Um, well, not, well, things that are important to me. Yeah. Um, currently, right now, I think, you know, with the updating of the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. um, we had Amy and Stephanie on last week. They did a fantastic job. Oh, they're brilliant. Job. Absolutely brilliant. They must be working 24-7. The citizens of Queen Anne's County are very, very fortunate that Mike Wisnowski, who is our former director of planning and zoning, stole Amy from Kent County. Okay. Um, and, Amy's and, a Star Trek fan. Oh, is she? And a runner. And, oh. an, and an actor. Yes, yes. yes. And, and she likes to bike as well, from what yeah. I understand. Okay. She likes to ride. Okay. Um, is the, the updating of our comprehensive plan. I think this is going to be important because the plan that we're currently graduating out of, um, it was a good plan, um, but, you know, over time things change. Sure. And so you have to adapt to that change. And, and I think the folks that are working on our comprehensive plan um, uh, realize that there's some things that were good at the time in our pre in the they plan that we're coming out of right. that need to be tweaked and changed a little bit but there's a couple of things that are in, you know near and dear to my heart that make queen anne's county that coincidental rural community um and that's the 301 bypass that the the, okay. the 301 from the bay bridge all the way up to the delaware line that's scenic byway oh, and i think it's important a lot of people try to focus on you know the from the 5301 split back to the bridge in Queen, you know, Queenstown back to the bridge. You know, a lot of your growth has taken place there and, and, and those are your, your prominent sure. growth areas. Um, and, and so we're, we're getting awful close to, to being maxed out there. Well, Steve um, said about two weeks ago. Yeah. And, and I guess you, you all are saying this as commissioners. Yeah. Sanitation wise, other ways. Yeah, so sewer allocations, available out. allocations, yeah. I think on paper we're awful close. Mm -hmm. You know, the allocation is distributed to projects, and, and I think sometimes you just kind of overestimate and then what is actually needed. Right. So, but on paper, we're, we're getting pretty close. So we have to be careful about, you know, the 
the sewer allocation because okay. the, the, the the MDE, the federal government, they say stop. They well, yeah, what they do is you know we our our, our processing plants, the sewer processing plants, process this the the uh, the um, uh, sewage that comes in mm -hmm. and the affluent. And it's treated to reduce the nitrous and phosphorus loads into it. So they say that these are they cap you at your your uh, allowed. They give you a number, right? They give yeah, you a number. and you can't exceed this on your on your distribution out. Okay. So um, we're getting close, and and you can't just say, well, we'll just expand, you know, Space our treatment you, plant and, and allow it. for more allocation. You yeah. can't do that. So um, I think our focus is certainly need to be in and around our town centers, um, our municipalities. Um, it's you know. Communities and growth in and around your town centers and municipalities strengthen those municipalities. Sure. So you talk about Churchill, you talk about, you know, Centerville's a classic yeah. example of how that's worked, right? Got North who have thought 10 years ago got we'd Symphony have a, oh, yes. who thought 10 years ago we would have an auto zone? Yes, right. Or a Dunkin' Donuts I mean, we've got, standalone. And look at Dunkin' Donuts, I keep in business. Right. <laughs> and, and so, but, you know, it, it, it's necessary to have that balance of commercial growth as well as residential. Sure, sure. Phil, all the commissioners, I believe, now you correct me if I'm wrong, have like certain responsibilities. You mentioned uh, sure. Jack Wilson with education. Uh -huh. Where, what are your... Well, like, uh, actually, as the vice president of, the, of our commission, and Chris Corcorino being the commission, we're, we're the commissioner lays on to the Board of Ed. Okay. And um, by kind of way, you have a, we had the new superintendent. Yes. The Board of Ed, you brilliant? guys, you won on that so, deal. So, so for you folks out there who have kids in our school system, we are blessed to have oh. this new superintendent. She's going to be brilliant. A real people person, sure. obviously a kid person, Right. Uh, comes in and before she says anything, don't call me doctor, call me Patty. Yep. And uh, yep. I think she's going to be able to work with the commissioners, sure. work with the Board of Ed, and most importantly, work with our, our community out here. Yep. And you did, yep. I think you won on that deal. So to answer your question, yeah. so um, what do I bring to the table? I, you know what, I'll tell you. I, 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 again, you know, being a coach and, and being sure. a supporter of... Um, I was the Kenan High School Athletic Boosters president right. for three, four years. Nice job. I've been the sitting vice president for the last three, four years. So um, athletics in our community, both at a recreational level and at a high school level, are important to me. I do whatever I can to help out. Um, I know that the budgets are very limited with our athletic directors at our high schools. So being part of the boosters allows fundraising efforts to help subsidize what our ADs need to do to make sure our student athletes really have uh, an opportunity to compete. So let me just ask you, in the sports thing, we both love sports. How are artificial turfs working out? I mean, is it... Is oh, it, fantastic. Is, is it, so it was a good investment, you think? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. Um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of reasons why it was a great idea. Um, most, of the, most of it is the fact that, that um, you, can, you don't have to cancel events, right. you know, because the field's too Rain, wet snow, or we too ruined. Fly, we right, fly. exactly. Um, we're able to rent the, the fields out at both schools to create revenue that we are setting aside. Turn them in special, so, yeah. So when it's time to replace the turf, you know, in 10, 12 years of use, as you replace the turf, there's, there's, there's money, money set there. aside to do that. Um, it's exciting for the, the young student athletes to be good. able to compete. I mean, I'd ride, when we do the uh, trail for Sheriff Hoffman, yep. we go right by and it looks great. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. It just looks terrific. So it's exciting for the, the young kids to play on the turf sure. and... Um, it's big time all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. You know, you're playing on turf. And my daughter just graduated Kenan High School. And in fact, we're leaving next week to take her to Georgia Southern. Um, but she played field hockey uh, all four years now, of Kenan High School. Now, did they play on the artificial turf or did they play the field? Uh, no, they played on the artificial turf. Oh, okay. They would practice on the Bermuda field, right. but their games were in the stadium oh, on the wow. turf. And I'll, I'll tell you, you... The turf allows the, our, our student athletes to be competitive sure. because, you know, the ball, you know, rolls it faster. It rolls quicker on that I mean, turf. You, just the game is, yes, is different on turf. And yeah. so it was a very, very good move. Okay. Um, it, the labor materials and things like that, when you have natural fields, there's a lot of money and time yes. and labor that goes into maintaining those. Yeah. There's less with the turf. So um, it looks it green was a, all your <laughs> It was a brilliant move. Okay, so that's yep. where, that was a good investment. It worked mm -hmm. out. Well, good. Mm -hmm. and, and the big benefit from that, not only sports, but our children, men and women, young boys and girls playing. It's not football, right? It's everybody. Right. So everybody. Soccer, uh, field hockey, lacrosse. Um, uh, we've got men's leagues, lacrosse men's leagues that, okay. that rent the fields. So uh, soccer, yeah. Gets, well, uh, we go by it on Saturday, Sunday. There's always somebody practicing, yep. yeah.
Yep. So a good investment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how about other things with schools? With the commissioners, do you have any ideas, the things you would like to see? Is just, um, these are Phil's ideas. I, so, forget so, the other four So, guys. Fred, allow me, yeah. to, clear, so yeah, allow me to clear the air. Uh, we, we've received um, an enormous amount of emails with folks concerned about what's going to happen to the Board of Ed building. Hottest issue on yes. Chesterfield Ave. So <laughs> I can tell you right now that this set of commissioners has no intentions whatsoever of demolitioning that building. Okay, can you say that down. twice for me? Because I had three phone calls yesterday. I said, <laughs> I'm, I'm a wimpy TV guy. You right. asked the commissioners. So. Okay, so this set of commissioners have no intentions of tearing that building down Okay, well, at thank all. you for clarifying. At all. Because there's a lot of confusion. That I, some people tell me there's a battle over a new building or destroying this. Right. You, that, so we're leaving our options open. I think one of the most important things when you talk about the old courthouse, mm -hmm. uh, we put together a courthouse committee, and I think, uh, and, and Commissioner Stevie Wilson had a great idea to commission a group to take a look at that old Board of Ed building and find out really what our options are, okay. which direction we can go. You had Tom Ross and people like that helping you with the courthouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Equal type of get some, get some more people like that, right, right? Uh, and, and, and formulate this commission. And who knows? I, I think if you can get um, a bunch of people together. They'll come up with good ideas. And, and come up with some ideas and make recommendations to the commissioner because, I mean, we, you know, we, we listen. And, and we weigh all the options and yes. all the facts, but, that, yeah. but everybody just know this. <laughs> We're not going to be tearing down. Okay. This set of commissioners is not going to do it. As a matter of fact, Todd Senator Mon alumni, don't, <laughs> high school alumni, you heard it, right? Todd, um, Todd Mon, our, our, our Todd Mon, county minister. Spent, yeah. Yeah, he's our county minister, spent years and years at the Department of Public Works. Okay. Um, he said, I can tell you definitely, Phil, that this county has never torn down an old historic building. Okay. You've got old schoolhouses that are still standing today. Well, you have everybody who's standing and graduated from Centerville High School is now applauding yes, you guys. Yes, All right, you yeah. won that We one. will not okay. do that. So okay, all right. We can rest and that plus, issue. what is interesting about that, not only is it a building uh, and, and truth and advertising, I live on Chesterfield Avenue in Centerville, <laughs> wherever it is. Your neighbors have There's it, right? a lot of beautiful property oh, sure. behind it. I mean, yep. uh, we're talking acres of land. Yep, can be, yep. Yeah. It, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a daunting task to, to try to balance the need for uh, new buildings, sure. change, new technology, but, whatever but not lose the, um, the, uh, the identity, of the character uh, of, of what Centerville and, and our county stands yeah. for. So, you know, coincidental rural community includes, I mean, what did Scotty McGlashan used to say all the time? You know, fortunately, we are blessed to have the oldest courthouse yes. in, in, in in, in Maryland, the United States, in the United States okay, yes. and we're also cursed to have the oldest <laughs> well, courthouse in Maryland. What's so. great about our community, and it's the ambiance of the aesthetics of Centerville, uh, you know, how many, we you get 350 emails or posts over at what color paint we're going to paint oh, the yeah, court. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. imagine the yep. alumni associations doing their job. Sure. Protecting the local community. Sure. By saying, look, we want to look at this. Oh, mm -hmm. good, okay. It's mm -hmm. good to know that. Cause so w the commissioners got to tour the, the Board of Ed building with... Uh, uh, their um, facilities maintenance uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, employee, and then Carla, who heads up, you know, the overall uh, overseeing of operations yeah, yeah, yeah. of the of the schools in our county, and and it the building is pretty derelict. The base, did you get to the basement? Yes, I did. I would not go to the basement and made it unless I made the sign of the cross and had a rosary well, with me. Well, <laughs> I tell you, it's an old, it's an old uh, oil burn fire furnace, and 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 um, it's. Um, it's just going to be a, an interesting balance to try to figure out how we're going to be done. What can be done with sure. it? But but again, getting you know commissioning this group of people to look into it and bring some interesting people um, and put some interesting people on that commission. Oh, the most important thing is the commissioners are willing to listen. Absolutely, to the public, whether it's a courthouse and whether it's white paint or brick. Right. And the same thing, we have people in this community who feel that that old building, and it is an old building, 1906, you knew it better than I do, uh, we just don't want to knock it down no. and put high-rise apartments. I agree. We can do better than that. I agree. I Plus, agree. Plus, because that part is on the Carter property, which is not your problem, but the town commission is going to have to deal with that. Is and, that you know, and, 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 and I'll tell you what, it, you know, the town of Centerville, obviously, because of the location of the, the yeah. old Board of Ed building, um, I mean, they're also certainly going to have sure, some uh, to weigh in on the decision yeah. ultimately yeah. what happens. So there's a lot of things that have to be figured out and... and 
Uh, so, but please. But you're listening. Yes, okay, please, absolutely. everyone relax. This set of commissioners loves to listen to their That's constituency. Good. And what is that old saying? Uh, God gave you two ears and one mouth. So mm -hmm. the emphasis must have been on listening. And sure. you guys are following that. Thank yep. you. Okay. I don't know what started this whole thing, but but that's okay. You know, there, there, you create a sense of urgency yes. and, and you address the, you know, those concerns. And so this was an opportunity. And so Fred, thank you for letting me. No, believe me, you sure just saved me two phone calls because I know I'll get sent in. <laughs> now, besides education, what, what other do you have on your burners? Um, We've got well, about so, two minutes so, left. Okay, so, way, Phil has a 12 o'clock So I'm kind of a there. renaissance guy when yeah, it comes yeah. to the, uh, the commissioners. I yeah. kind of dabble a little bit on everything. Good for you. Good for you. Um, the Parks and Recs Advisory Board, I'm the, the, um, the uh, alternate you know, representative sure. on there. Um, I serve as the uh, on the uh, commission liaison for the Board of Ed. Mm -hmm. um, I am the alternate on the Fire and EMS Commission. You have your hands on a lot of pies. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that the role that our our volunteer fire services. I mean, folks, if we had to put a price tag on that, oh my gosh, oh, it's amazing. No what, way anyone could afford. Oh no, no, no. You couldn't even imagine what our tax hours would be like. So we're very supportive of of our volunteer fire services, and a lot of these men and women, you know, are career. And, and so when they're off, they're spending their time, you know, over here in their own community, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. we're blessed to have some committed folks um, to our first responders. And I can't speak enough about um, Department of Emergency Services Advisory Commission, mm -hmm. who I'm also the alternate on that. Okay. So <laughs> I, I'm not a lead. How many hats do you have? Yeah, I'm not a lead on any one particular one, but, but um, have experience. And, and uh, in my first term in 2011 to 2014, I sat as the commissioner liaison on the Parks and Recs Advisory Board, the Department of Emergency Services You've Advisory Commission. You've had experience with all of this. Yeah, all of them. So I think, you know, it gives me a chance to stay in touch with all the different factors of what goes on in our community and have a clear understanding or at least enough knowledge to be deadly. Okay. Dangerous. Well, Phil, you've got about one minute, so I've okay. got to let you go. Okay. First of all, thank you for being Santa Claus. Sure. Okay. Hope anytime you need yep. a helper, you know I'm there. Right? Yeah. Okay. And thank you for raising $1,000 for cancer, fight against cancer. Okay. And uh, next time I wave at you, okay. you're going to buy me a 50 mile I'll try to slow down, Fred. And I'm a little worried about you in that high, that high pitch to the left side of the plate. Okay. <laughs> now, you do a great job on okay. firing. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And by the way, everyone, I want you to know he's got to take a daughter to college coming up soon. Yeah. You've got to get oh, Send yeah. a car in New York. It doesn't end uh -huh. that. No, so it doesn't. It's not just five hats. It's a commissioner and all these other things. Yeah. And we really appreciate that, okay? Yeah. Well, Fred, a, thank you. Okay, I appreciate we'll it. We'll see you at either the Peach Festival in Southern Peach Festival. Phil's everywhere. So if you want a chance and that you're real approachable, right? You like Absolutely. to contact you. I, I'll tell you what. Real quick, we'll end this with this. Yep, um, my wife doesn't like to send me to Safeway. Because I can't go <laughs> in real quick. Out. Can't no. go in real quick and grab a gallon of milk. It's impossible. But that's but good. But that's why I do this. Because yeah. I love... Uh, when people come up and they ask questions and they want to know what's going on and, and they don't listen, you know, to the social media. They come sure. and find out the facts. And so that's the best part of the job. That's why me. you're a good umpire. You love it. That's sure. why you're a good commissioner. You love it. I okay? appreciate it. Thank hey, you. thanks for coming on a very busy and a little bit of break in the weather day. Today. Sure. Thank you, Phil. My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV7. My time's up. Thank you for your time. And we're going to see you next time.